The Olden World, written by Tsar Yoshi. Chapter 467 On Our Own. Valet Sharinspark and Niala had barely made it halfway across the plaza when they were stopped by an eyebrow raising sight. Wallace, Marina, and Diego, fully kitted for battle, marching in formation across the plaza armed with weapons and armor that looked more for use than show. Pouches and bags strapped to their sides were filled with rations and supplies, and they made their way steadfast for the administration building. Whoa! The leap paused so they could pass, eyes widening. You guys are serious about something! Wallace nodded in greeting. Hello, little valet, and yes we are. The heroic search for young Melia deduced that she fled town using the teleportation guild. As a matter of guild policy, patrons' travels are protected information except in the cases of royal inquisition into villainous activity, so to find out where she went, we are off to Grand Bell to besiege the aid of Meltdown, the best mayor for authorizing such things. The teleportation guild? Niala asked, quickly picking up that Wallace was a trusted acquaintance. What's that? Actually, I'd kind of like to know too, Valet added. I think I might have heard a name, like, once before? Marina pounded a hoof against another. The Empire's fastest form of fast travel. It costs a tail and a leg, but there's a network of hubs spread across the land where unicorns powerful enough to teleport a guest over a mile at a time where it can live. Best paying job in the Empire, if you had a horn for it. Pay up, and they'll teleport you along the chain to any place in the continent, like fire ponies passing a water bucket down a line. Hmm, Diego nodded. Isvaldi's is in the administration building's basement. It's relatively small, since they're hard to staff and not many patrons here can afford it. But we discovered an amount of money missing from the school save that's well within the range for fares on a single pony, and only Melia, Serena, and the school treasurer knew the combination. We also found several witnesses who saw disguised hooded pony in the administration building while the riot was going on. So, we're off to give them notice that we're about to do this, just in case they decide to break policy and help in the name of a cultural icon. And then, we're taking the sky goat to Grand Bell. Valet blinked. Wow, so she really bailed that. You guys will be all right doing this? Ha! This is what we were made for. Wallace slapped a proud talon across his chest. What better reason to set out than in search of an ally vital to the spirit of the country? We've scoured all of Varsidel before multiple times on end. This'll be a cinch, young valet. Who's your companion, by the way? Marina asked, angling her head at Niala with a ready smile. Don't think I matter. That's some nice armor. I, I'm a friend, Niala answered, tripping on whether to identify herself as valet's sister and looking to the bad pony for guidance. You like the armor? Shinesburg interrupted, trying to steal the focus and keep Niala out of the spotlight. Took me years to make that in Anridge. She's a friend of mine trying it out. A friend? Hmm. Wallace nodded in approval. Making you allies already? Good. We'll be gone for two days at least, and likely longer. Hold down his Valdi for us in our absence, heroes of Anridge. Valet and her friends saluted and watched as Wallace, Marina, and Diego left, then turned to each other. Well, Shinespark cheerfully remarked, guess we don't have to worry about Melee anymore. With those three in the case, it should be handled easily. Not exactly what I was thinking about, Valet frowned. I was kind of hoping they'd handle whatever was going on with Chauncey and the things Janjar start instead, but if they're leaving, there goes one of the big reasons I said we shouldn't do it. More importantly, if they're not here and we stick our noses too deep into trouble, we're going to have to bail ourselves out on our own rather than relying on a bathtub worth of griffin meat to fix things for us. You could always stop them, Niala suggested. They haven't left yet. And do what? Valet lifted an eyebrow. Tell them we're spooked that someone's up to no good. I can hear Wallace already. Villains are always making trouble. Oh, she waggled her forehoofs, pantomiming an epic pose. Besides, if there's anything going on, it could play out over a long period of time, and they really should find Melia now. I wish we could trade places. Shinespark rubbed her chin. Maybe this is too conspiracy-oriented, but what if someone wants them out of town just so they can try something? Niala's armor clanked as she crouched slightly. You mean Chauncey? You think he did something to send Melia away just so they'd be out of town? 
Well, Jam Jarrett did say he knew something about why their concerts kept raising tensions. Scheinsberg continued to stare deeply in contemplation. Okay, hold up. Valet rounded them both of them. Are we certain Chauncey's a bad guy or just that he's suspicious? Maybe we need to go dig around in that lab he invited us to see after all. I was kind of ticked at him for how he treated me, Neff and Crystal earlier, but after seeing what Crystal was like, I almost don't blame him. Maybe they deserve each other. Shouldn't we at least go check him out really, really fast before running up to Wallace and telling him a kind of suspicious filly told us someone else was being suspicious enough to not go looking for Melia just in case? They didn't say they'll be leaving immediately and we can fly faster than their ship. Scheisberg furrowed her brow and thought. Let's do it, right now. Valet nodded at the hospital. You, the scientist, me, the bat, and Niala, the technological cool thing to prove we're nerds about this stuff. I need to move. I'm still wound up after earlier. Go. Is any of that a coded message for danger? St. Park whispered, carefully meeting Valet's eyes. Valet raised her muzzle and breathed deeply. Mm, nah, I don't think there's anything super bad. I still smell puddles, and it's still unnerving, but no butt tingles. Whatever's going on in this place, it's not a trap that will physically hurt me. Trust me, though, I'm keeping both eyes out. Then let's go to the hospital, Scheinsberg decided. Absolute worst case, we weigh anchor and let the river push us away from its valley. But we need at least some idea of what's going on here, of what we're chasing in this strange country town. End of chapter 467